We've got Michael Pratt. He is a senior out of Tulane, 6'2 and a half, 217 pounds, nine and a quarter inch hand. We haven't been talking about hand size, gentlemen, the weirdest thing that we can talk about. Um, uh, he is uh, uh, doing, do, he did well for himself, right? Tulane had a great season last year. A lot of people took notice on, on uh, what they were doing down there. And as, as a result, he is getting a little bit of draft stock here now, Michael Pratt. Um, scouting report on him is, uh, he, uh, he has done a nice job of making safe decisions instead of reckless ones and throws with touch over all three levels. Uh, however, he struggles to throw with consistent accuracy and placement on intermediate throws. And also he appears to lack the anticipation and field awareness to be NFL coverage across the field. Um, go back to a little bit more of his, his strengths, four-year starter, three-year team captain down there in New Orleans, um, displayed consistent improvement at the position over four years. So um, that's what coaches want to see, right? Get better every day. That's what he's done um, and uh, has done a nice job of selling pump and go throws, adequate mobility, creates additional yardage as a scrambler. Some more weaknesses, below average timing and arm talent as a full field thrower. Um, doesn't throw with enough anticipation against his own windows and slow to get through progressions and locate open targets on the backside. He is projected as a day three uh, draft pick and will will go into a, a camp not to compete for a starting job, but to compete for a backup role um, and, you know, should be seen as an adequate backup. But realistically, um, you know, a lot of these guys that we're talking about, they're they're gonna hear their name on day one we won't hear mike michael pratt's name on day one but we should hear it at some point and i'll tell you what that's still just as good